Hey everybody, welcome back to the Revelation Bible Study. My name is David Kenny, and this is Walden Community Church in Montgomery, Texas. And this year, this summer, we decided we would go through the entire book of Revelation and just take little tiny bite-sized chunks here and there, uh, just go through it slowly so that we could break it down and understand it better. And I think the temptation here at the end of Revelation chapter 2, uh, speaking to the church in Thyatira, is that we would just skip these last few verses and go on to the next letter. But there's some interesting words, there's some symbolism here, and I think that's where we get lost a lot. We see these words, we see these uh, symbolic images, and we think, am I supposed to understand this? Sh should I know what this means? And so I just wanted to go through it really quickly and just kind of overview, explain uh, what it is that closes out this letter. Revelation chapter 2 verse 24 says, But to the rest of you in Thyatira who do not hold to this teaching, dot dot dot, what does that mean? Well, it's the false teaching that we talked about in the last video. Now he's talking to people that uh, don't listen to the false teachers, who do not hold to this teaching, who have not learned what some call the deep things of Satan. To you, I say, I do not lay on you any other burden. Only hold fast what you have until I come. In other words, the second coming. This is Jesus speaking, and he's saying, hold fast, right? Keep the faith, stay strong, until I return. Verse 26. The one who conquers and who keeps my works until the end, to him I will give authority over the nations, and he will rule them with a rod of iron as when earthen pots are broken in pieces, even as I myself have received authority from the Father. So Jesus says that when he returns, all authority, all power, right, comes with him, and he's going to smash the rockiness of our souls, smash the, the hardened exterior of uh, the unbelief, and he's going to make us contrite, make us all humble. Verse 28 says, And I will give him the morning star. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And of course, the morning star is Jesus Christ. He is the first ray of hope that follows all the dreariness of darkness. He is the morning, which we all look forward to. And I think at the heart of this letter to the church in Thyatira is a God who wants us to endure, to stay strong, and that we would hold fast to our relationship with God, especially against the challenges and the dangers of this world that would perhaps dilute the truth, right? We should hold fast to him, deny those earthly uh, pressures where we turn tolerance into approval. No matter what the world might tell us, no matter what we think might be politically correct or what our feelings say, that we would be people that listen to and who obey our King. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.